Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Josh, aka Tracks, aka Beatrice on Dawn. So, what do we have to do here? We have first of Q Marvel, maybe we got a Brutus of Fire spawning. So, let's just kill this guy off pretty quick. Do a quick check. This guy is not farming on this guy, so nothing has been done. Alright, uh, so I thought this video we should start here because, let's be honest, the white fashion, uh, the purple glowing from the head, this is a dope shot. Actually, let me let me do this. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so good. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is coming a step closer to my dream build. So some stuff has changed in here in my inventory. Therefore, let me equip this table. So combat finally over. Eh? All right. So also you can see I now got level one stable as well, which means we're getting closer to the T6 and also closer to the spirit mode. So, first things first, what did change, what did change, what did stay? The fashion changed, for sure. What you got here essentially is a uh, white hunter collection mixed with black power gloves and the classic dress boots. It looks really good, and I think that is a nice combo with the helmet. So, as you may be able to tell, we now got a royal blood fang helmet of concealment, which is the dexterity, adding one, not the strength one, but that will come around one time. For sure as well because all drops drop so far i'm really happy to have this one because let's be honest 900 attack you got 300 vitality 180 damage and 300 dexterity as well as some armor some good old armor let me take a look at this armor stat 60 armor versus what you got a year 76 which means that this helmet is just 16 armor points below the chest plate makes this one really awesome Anyways, so what do we have here? That's a lot of cool evasions which are really not too good to deep into because nobody really cares about these, only pros care about these, which I care about these. Doesn't really matter. Next thing. What you see here now is two Gorty Daggerins. First off, we do have this Gorty Necro Ring of Blood, which was this one, then we have this one. So two times Gorty Necro Ring. We got an Imperial Blood with Charm of Rusty. This is also been upgraded just past days. A really cool thing. We got 400 attack on this one, 160 vitality plus 400 strength, as well as 800 damage boost on Quick Strike. Fucking sick. All right. So what else did change fashion-wise? You guys seen me rock in the DG set before, which I can show you this one right now. So one thing I also like to do sometimes is this, I think that this this hat kind of triggers a lot of people. Imagine getting outlocked by a guy wearing a pink ass uh, hat that, that looks like this. Um, that's why I do this. I, it's a cool hat nonetheless, so a really cool thing to have. Uh, but I also like this one, it's also a cool look. Cool looks here and there. So let's do this again. So something I want to show you guys is I got uh, 111 bounty pledges now which will help me get anywhere near around tier 6 mount, maybe. We also do have 24 of the required tokens for one of the uh, of our uh, lead level 4 horses here. Let's see, this guy is still busy. Let's get a look. Who is it? Who is it? Agony King. Well, it would be a shame if that guy was a douchebag. Well, what do you mean, bro, please? What do you mean, bro, please? No kill. It's bullshit. Well, I had to cut something out there. Uh, I was gonna say something, but I think it's, it, it doesn't help the case. Uh, but overall, this is like one of the best uh, places in Celtic to take pictures alongside with the D2 spawn, which may be hard to get to. Why is this guy PMing me still? I hate this shit. I hate this shit. People always PM me, always PM me, try to start some shit here and there. We don't want to get too deep into that. It's just, it's stuff that really. Man. Anyways, let's continue on. So what else did we do? We did do some crit testing. I can show you guys something in the other world, which is another cool spawn. I think that the colors are pretty important for the setting of this video, just because you know, the cool helmet, the cool fashion. So let's uh, let's check it out. So here we got another like purple, uh, bluish glowing area. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really cool. So let's let's try to get this crit with sneaky. So let's go. 
that was the first crit that's 27 i think the highest we got is what 35 let me just check what's the highest we got so far let's check it out let's check out let's give it a little check where's that shit largest skill set was 35 here yeah. that was my largest uh, largest skill set dang mr scar holy shit that's that's op as fuck that shit is op as fuck so let, let's now test out this this one Let's see if we maybe can 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 get more power here. Um, maybe go for quick strike. No. Ah, god damn it! I was going for cool quick strike. It didn't work out. Could have worked out. Didn't work out. Unfortunate. Seven point four. I ah, could have been better. Could have been better, dude. Could have been fucking better. So I found another one of those cool spots. It's cool lighting. I think these are pretty rare in Tokyo. There's only like three spots which have like cool to cool lighting. Let me show you my absolute favorite lighting spot after stone will we can't go there fortunately some guys would always think we're gonna kill their mobs or whatever um let's let's go here this is one of the coolest lighting spots in the game trust me, dudes you will not be disappointed and anybody has been here but check uh take a fucking look at this holy shit this looks good let's get this might be our thumbnail shot i don't know let's get off this shit let's get off this Wow, this looks good. This... This looks good. If we hide this one... Oh shit, dang, that's a cool, that's a cool lighting. I love this one. Also, this... I don't know why, why didn't they do this kind of lighting for the whole game? This is fucking superb. This is superb. It even looks realistic. I don't know where the colors come from, apparently from these crystals. Because there's not a light source than these crystals and maybe the laystone in here. Laystone would make this blue, but I don't know what would make this this color. But it, it's really cool. It is really cool. Anyways, with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video, enjoyed the podcast series. Check it out if you haven't, and see you in the next one. Don't take it so serious. So serious. Everything in life Everything is a love story. love story. Don't take it so serious. So serious. It shouldn't be so scary. It's a fairy tale. Don't take it so serious.